guys, what's up? Games.com here, and today we're at the comic book store getting some of our new comics. One of the things we got was the newest Tie Fi Fight Club, except they changed the name to Heavy Vinyl um, for what is supposed to be the last issue, which is really sad. But maybe because they changed their the name, they're gonna keep going under Heavy Vinyl. Who knows? Um, not me, I haven't read them yet. But yeah, we're just gonna check out what they have here regarding our Marple list. And then we'll do a comic review when we get home because we haven't done one of those in a really long time. Maybe not even since we've been here. Um, besides my gay day comic reviews. So yeah, we're gonna go do, go do one of those which I'm really excited about. Okay, so we're back home with our comics. Presley's gonna read comics, I'm gonna read comics. Yeah. Presley's gonna do a review. Maybe I'll talk about one that I like. But uh, I got Cooper some comics too, but I need some help with Cooper comics. Because like when I was reading a ton of comics, even when I was reading like the big mm -hmm. characters, mm -hmm. I was definitely a Marvel guy. I didn't do a lot of DC reading. And then I broke it into like smaller titles. Mm -hmm. So I didn't read as many of the big like A-list titles, certainly, even in the Marvel universe. But Cooper, who do you like? Who are your favorite superheroes, Cooper? Real quick, just a couple. Um, Batman. Batman. Batman, Superman, so he's kind of a little DC guy right this second, and I don't know a lot about what's going on in the DC universe, the comic book world, but I want to get him started on uh, like one of the mainline superhero titles in the DC universe. So I grabbed a couple of Batman. It seems like there's like 10 different Batman runs are going on right now. There's, yeah, there's a lot Justice of League. So I got him a Justice League and a Batman today, and we're going to read that and see what he thinks about them. I'll read them to him, and we'll talk about what's going on and stuff, but I want to get him started reading his first like episodic main superhero kind of book and so a Batman or a Superman is kind of what you want so if you know anything about those universes and what's going on in the DC comic book universe right now uh, let me know down in the comments below so we can get Cooper what uh, what he needs cool cool all right mm -hmm. Presley go read some comic books and then we'll do some cool. reviews say hi bye Cooper bye okay so I finished reading all the comics that we got today which was super duper amazing and I'm very very happy um, so I'm going to be talking about two of them in typical comic review fashion we haven't done this in a while, but I'm going to be talking about the Squirrel Girl special zine issue, and I'm going to be talking about Heavy Vinyl, which is High Five Fight Club's new name, which I already mentioned, but it's okay. Okay, so first of all, we're going to talk about Heavy Vinyl because, oh my god, I love Heavy Vinyl so much. I love it. It's so good. It's so gay. It's perfect. I love it a lot, okay? It's so good. The reason I changed the name was allegedly because it was getting confused with Fight Club, the movie, which apparently has a comic book, or maybe it's a different Fight Club comic book. Who knows? So I changed it to Heavy Vinyl, which is also a really, really cool name. And I love this comic, and it has a quite open ending, like an ending that sets it up for a second arc. But, and I'm gonna be so mad if they leave it here. I have already, Dark Matter is already canceled. So you can't cancel, you can't finish this on me. You have to pick it up again. I don't know if it got picked up again. I really, really, really hope that it did get picked up again because it's so good. So yeah, everyone go read High Five Fight Club slash Heavy Vinyl. That is my review of it. I'm not gonna spoil anything in this issue, but it's really good and it's really gay. And I'm pretty sure saying like almost anything about this issue would be a huge spoiler because it's the last one. And it's very, it has a lot of twists and turns and it's amazing. Go read it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be so mean. Okay, second, Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. This is an issue. So this is an issue that is entirely like zines, which are can't like cre cre created canonically by the characters who the zine is about. And it's really, really cute. There's a lot of really sh short stories. I love issues like this, because you can just pick them up when you're sad and read through all the different stories, and it's good. It even has a very special thing that is a list of things to do when you're sad. It also has rainbows on it. So I like it. No, it's actually really, really cute and it's really good. Um, the stories themselves are all really short. There's a whole bunch of different art. Um, there's a whole bunch of different artists. My favorite one is about is the one about Loki because you can choose to stand one probably like almost extremely irredeemable nasty boy to stand. And I chose Loki because I, I stand Loki very hard and I love him. And he's got a good, and also, like, those of you who have seen uh, Thor Ragnarok, don't spoil it in the comics, it gives me more reasons to stand Loki. I just love Loki a lot. And this is his issue, and it's very good and very clever. And, yeah, that's the favorite part, my favorite part of the zine. They have um, one about, a couple about Spider-Man, they have one about uh, Kraven, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I don't know if I've heard it out loud. They have one about Wolverine, which 
I think I already said they have one about Tippy Toe. They have a couple about Squirrel Girl herself. They have one about Brain Drain, who I love. Brain Drain is a, a beautiful, amazing child. And they have one about um, Howard the Duck, too. There's a lot. Um, oh, here it says all of them right here. I didn't have to look through it. It says, so there's the introduction and conclusion by the unbeatable Squirrel Girl, A Bird in the Hand by Howard the Duck, Brain Drain's Old Time Feel Good Inspiration Corner by Brain Drain, The Wonderful World of Loki by Loki, um, The True Story of Spider-Man by Craven, Hey Craven, Squirrel Girl Showed Me Your Comics of What the Heck by Spider-Man, Hidden Fear by Wolverine, Juggernaut vs. Bat Squirrel by Tippy Toe, Galactus Gags by Galactus, and A spider world by Nancy Whitehead. Um, also, I would like to point out that um, the Galactus one is drawn by the Garfield guy, and all I can think of is John, John Arbuckle and how much I hate John Ar Arbuckle. Anyways, it's really good. You should get both of these comics if you're not already reading Squirrel Girl on Heavy Vinyl. Who are you? They're both so good. You absolutely should be reading both of them because they're both so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to press the subscribe button to see more videos like this and go buy these comics. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!